welcome to Linda's farm. Right, I'm at Linda's farm. I've got two hours to wait before the tide goes out. Yes, there's no spill area, I should think. There's the walkway out there, look. Oh. There's some sort of um, defences here, aren't there? to drive over there or walk over there. They've got about two hours to wait. At least I've got a parking space. I got down here early so I could park the van that See, there's the van. Knowing that you've got about two hours to wait. It's a bit like Linda's Far and Holy Island, is, or Holly Island, however you want to pronounce it. It's a bit like Iona up in Northumberland. It's another one of those places that are probably linked to St. Columba. They went to these remote places to find themselves. I mean, you can do it at home in a flat alone. But sometimes you have to get away from that. So I'm just doing a little bit of a video. It's not, it looks a bit boring. I'm going to... Uh, turn off in a minute and take some photos but this is just to get an idea of where I am and where I've got to go to. Basically there's a couple of hours I want to get there early. You can fit in all this extra film work. I'm keeping the best camera for uh, this one. I won't be able to charge up again unfortunately. So I'm going to have to rely on the green one to do the whole of the island. But I wanted to do a bit of this. Well, you could have said, oh shoot, you could have used the green one, charged it up while you're waiting. It can take t quite a while to charge, to be quite honest. So this is it. I'm going to go down and walk down that walkway in a minute are those funny people they give me dirty look when I uh, stopped on the very clear way there's plenty of room to pass only someone speeding could have gotten found it and it was a young bloke again didn't like it because I parked to take a photograph of God, I parked up I put the flashlights on there was a clear road behind and it was in the same lane 
how they're going. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, they come down here soon. Oh, we'll be able to go out there. <laughs> that teacher her Russian. Stop it, Sheila. Stop it. That's the nasty side of me. be safe to go out. It's been right up here. Oh, look at it. These are these poles that you see on telly. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty well guided. They say you need a guide. I mean, Chris, you've got to walk on the road, haven't you? Here again, short video. Me, Alberta, and Bran in spirit, and Alberta the van. We're sat in a small queue waiting for the tide to go out. Apparently, I spoke to the National Trust warden. He reckoned we'd be out there. Well, he reckoned now it'd be about 20 minutes. He he said it goes very down really quickly. Officially, it says 20 past 11 on the official map. He also pointed out to me that the sticks that people follow, like um, Neil Oliver on the program when he came over here, you need waders on, basically, and or really good boots because um, it is the, it's a quick way to the island. If you you can literally the sticks curve around like that and take you onto the island there, so this road goes straight over. So I can imagine you couldn't get lost. It says you need a guide. You only need a guide. If you're going to walk over following the stick. Yeah, it's amazing. Apparently it has gone down, but I haven't really been watching how close we're getting to the tower. There's a tower up there. I think that's probably midway point. Young chap on a bike with a nice camera. He's um, going out there for the day. Been chatted up by some woman. He asked me mind be of you, Dan Catchy, when I looked at him. Tall, gingery beard. Ah, <sighs> never mind, I'll see you soon. There's something right over there, I don't know what it is. Anyway, so we're in the van. I've got a cup of coffee, look. Um, we'll probably make a move in a minute. The car's moved up a bit. So, so am I going to move. Hold on. I'll leave it on.
that just depicts a little bit of what we're doing. We're inching our way up. I don't know that this is the sea. Is this the North Sea? I think this might be the North Sea. We're inching our way up a bit at a time. Just like that. So I won't have to video the whole thing, I don't think. Obviously, it's going out pretty fast. That's why you have this, why there's so much you've got to be careful of. When you come in home, you have to make sure you leave in plenty of time to get back across. I suspect there have been disasters in the past. I'm sure, there's a, well, there's an abbey on there. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? I can see the island, I'm sure. Isn't it? That tall thing over there is that. No, that might be Bamberg Castle, I can see now, right over there. Right, over and out for now.
photo home only. Wait, hold on. Go on. <laughs> 